A welcome to part three. In our first two videos, we used Pomo Vista 500 to identify responders to a recruitment maneuver and to identify the onset of de-recruitment during a decremental PEEP trial. The third task, which I would like to demonstrate, is how to assess the drop of compliance due to possible overdistension. When we talk about possible overdistension, we are talking about a loss of compliance or ventilation towards higher pressures. In our second video, we set our reference at the highest PEEP level in order to assess the onset of de-recruitment. Now, in order to assess possible overdistension, we have to pick a reference level where we do not expect to see any signs of overdistension. And that will be the condition at the lowest PEEP level. And this is where we set our new reference. At a PEEP level of 6, the occurrence of overdistension is very unlikely. And now we can move cursor 2 backwards to the next higher PEEP level of 8. And when we compare these two images, we do not see a big change. We get slightly more ventilation in the region of interest number three, and we have a little decrease of ventilation in region number one and two. However, if we go higher with the PEEP level to a PEEP level of 10, we can see that the colors in region of interest number two are becoming more and more orange. And if we go to a PEEP level of 12, which was previously the optimal PEEP level to avoid de-recruitment, we see already a certain decrease in ventilation in the ventral region. And this is indicating possible overdistension. But that illustrates exactly the principle of how recruitment works. The recruitment of dorsal parts of the lung is very often accompanied by a certain decrease of the regional compliance in the ventral parts. Another interesting fact is that we can see this decrease of ventilation in the orange part, but when we take a look on tidal image number two, we can see that these regions are still being ventilated. So there is a certain drop of ventilation, but these regions are still being properly ventilated. So this concludes our third and last video on how to use Pomovista 500 in the clinical routine. Please click below to learn more about Pomovista 500.